Very good day. Welcome to WARN. World Action and Reaction News. Today news is. DRDO Achievements in 2016. A look back at a year in Indian Defense Technologies, Part 2. DRDO Achievements in 2016. A look back at a year in Indian Defense Technologies, Part 2. Medium range surface to air missile. Even as the Tejas fighter jet was being inducted into the Indian Air Force, there were a series of three tests of medium range surface to air missiles, MRSAM, conducted on the integrated test range off Odisha coast. The Research Center Imara, RCI, Hyderabad developed the MRSAM in a collaboration with Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI. A number of other DRDO laboratories, private and public companies contributed to the various subsystems that are part of the missile. Long-range surface-to-air missile In September, the DRDO conducted two tests of a long-range surface-to-air missile, LRSAM. The missiles were developed jointly by DRDO and Israel Aerospace Industries, similar to the MRSAM. The LRSAM was test-fired against two pilotless target aircraft, at different ranges and altitudes. Both missiles successfully hit their targets. President Pranab Mukherjee congratulated the defense establishment by saying the nation is proud of this achievement. I am sure that the success will further boost India's defense capabilities in technologically challenging areas. Rustam, 2 UAV. In November, DRDO successfully carried out the maiden flight of the Rustam, 2 unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV. The UAV is combat capable and can be equipped with electro-optic sensors, radar, electronic intelligence, communication intelligence and situational awareness payloads. The Rustam, 2 is a medium altitude long endurance, male, UAV. The maiden flight was carried out at the aeronautical test range, ATR, Chitradurga, near Bengaluru, a new facility dedicated to testing UAVs and manned aircraft. The tests proved the capabilities of the flying platform, including takeoff, banking, level flight and landing. The development of the UAV contributes to the Make in India initiative, as many subsystems were developed and manufactured entirely in India, with the participation of private companies. The airframe, landing gear, flight control, and avionics subsystems were made entirely in India. The UAV is meant for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, ISR, roles. The UAV is going to undergo further test and trials, for validation of the design parameters. The next step for the UAV is user validation trials. NAG anti-tank missile The NAG anti-tank missile joined the ranks of indigenously developed missiles by the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, IGMDP, a program that was led by former President Abdul Kalam. The NAG joins Agni, Prithvi, Trishal and Akash. The NAG is a lock-in before launch, LOBL, fire and forget, anti-tank guided missile, and was successfully tested against targets up to a range of 4 kilometers. The test flights tested the, the indigenously developed thermal target system and the infrared imaging seeker on board the missile. Real-time image processing algorithms on board the missile process the accuracy of the flight in real time. The NAG missile is meant to tackle modern battle tanks and other heavily armored tanks. There is a high chance of neutralizing the target with a single missile. The NAG can be fired from land or air-based platforms, and, and there are amphibious and mobility tests being conducted. The NAG missile is ready for induction into the Indian Army. The many technological advancements over the year, show a serious dedication to developing the technological capabilities on home ground. A number of research labs by DRDO across the country are involved in the Make in India initiative, and the participation of private and public sector defense contractors increases the capability of manufacturing in India. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. Please comment your opinion for this news. Press subscribe button for auto update to you regarding my channel World Action and Reaction News, WARN.